going to come for me. This is part two of Native American and Black Erasure Must Be Stopped on TikTok. So brace yourself, because here we go. Now, as always, I don't give out names. I just pretend the ends. I don't have a personal beef with them. But they are pissing me off. But then, about an hour ago, Maybe two. This dude with glasses clearly hates being black. He's mixed, you can tell he's mixed. But he clearly hates black people. Or he clearly hates Native American people. So he's showing pictures of Mexico and he's showing this hole in the wall where he said that they were giants and black people made this game up where they had to shoot a ball through a hole the ball is nine pounds and they got to run up the side of the wall and shoot in the hole so let me paint the scene for you if you guys remember the movie Alita Battle Angel where they're rolling on the roller skates and they skate up the wall and put the ball through the hole it's exactly that. It's exactly that. Now, this is in Mexico. But he's not Mexican. He's a original. At least he thinks he's an original. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to wear this. Because if I could reach through my phone or my computer or anything physical, he'd get these hands. He's supposed to get these hands. Yeah, he's bigger than me. <laughs> Who the fuck ain't? This man is destroying both of my cultures. Now, no one can really destroy my European culture. Yeah, I have white in me. Big fucking whoop. But I also have black in me. And I also have native in me. I'll be damned if I'm going to let him destroy both of those cultures at the same fucking time. I'll be damned. So, young man's got glasses. I know he's a good... Five, nine, six feet. Makes no difference. The bigger you are, the harder I get to hit you. So he says we were giants. He said the reason why we shrunk down was because the earth air shifted or some shit. Uh, he's another one of these young douchebag full of dick tips. Going around saying that um, black people are the originals. And um, we made everything, we created everything, we done done everything. And I'm at the point now where I want to start breaking some people's chins. Alright? Now I know it sounds wrong and I know I shouldn't promote violence. But again, I'm at the point where, you know, some got to give. And I mean, it's got to give right now. Because it's fucking ridiculous with these damn claims that they keep making about black people being the original Native Americans. Right? It's getting to the point now where I'm like, okay, if one more person says this shit to me, I think I'm going to beat the fucking hell out of them. I literally think that I'm going to find a way to dig into their skulls and beat the holy snot knocking fuck out of them. And I mean this shit. I mean, with all my fucking heart, I mean this shit. Because this is unacceptable shit that um, keeps happening. It just keeps happening. It's all over TikTok. You got motherfuckers just doing the same thing. We were giants. We rode dragons. We had dinosaurs. 
We had telepathic powers. We had telekinetic powers. Wakanda is real and it's in South America, not Africa. We are the descendants of jaguars. Oh, I forgot. There's also some flat earth enthusiasts. And there's also um, the earth's super flat, but there's ice walls. And they still, till this day, two years in, have not answered my question. I will, if the earth is flat, how come we don't see whales floating in the sky? Because, you know, they're ice walls. Does anybody know how big a fucking blue whale is? You understand, For I'm going to go back on topic in a minute, but you understand that a blue whale is bigger than the average house. And I'm not talking like a trailer from a trailer park. I'm talking about a fucking house. Like a two-story house. You could probably lay a blue whale on the side of the wall of the Empire State Building. And they'll probably roughly be about the same size. You understand if you do not know how deep the ocean is. So why if the earth is flat and the ocean hasn't left us. Because you know gravity. And why haven't the blue whales broken through ice? In these ice walls. But here's my favorite. In case you guys don't understand this. And I'm going to say this briefly and get back on these um ethnocentrics. Orcas, you know, killer whales, porpoises, they come in different colors. You know, you have the killer whale, killer whale, it's black and white, and then you have the porpoise. It's about the same size, but looks more like a dolphin versus the killer whale, which also looks like a dolphin. They have broken through ice with their heads. Like, literally, they have broken through ice, which is how some of them have gotten stuck and couldn't go back but, you know, somehow we have these ice walls, these giant ass wells that roam freely through the ocean, haven't smashed. Now, somebody needs to tell me how that works, because, you know, we don't control wildlife. You can't go and tell a bear, regardless of its breed, where it can and cannot go. You can track that some bitch and put it somewhere where it's not supposed to be and fuck up the ecosystem and have that bear run into another bear and either it's going to mate or it's going to die. You can do that. But if you're face to face with a 20 foot tall bear, Kodiak or a polar bear, way over 600 pounds, I'm pretty sure you're going to hit a dupe from G.I. Joe. It can sleep wherever the fuck it wants. But you know, that's the reality. It's a giant bear. I'm not fighting a bear. Hey, look, I'm part native. I can't talk to animals like that magical, mystical, legendary shit because I'm not a full native. I'm just going to do the same thing everybody else do. Hey, yo. Back up real nice and slow. Let me get far enough in the water. Punch it! And then slam on the brakes. Slam it. Go, go, go far enough back so we can get up ramming speed. Throw this bitch in reverse. Drive really, really fast and slam on brakes and fling the bear off. If we're lucky, we'll survive that shit. And the bear will fall in the water, be a little pissed off. You're going to punch that bitch in the drive again and get us the fuck out of Dodge. You know, I dream big. Anyway, let's talk about these ethnocentrics. These racist pieces of filth passing off as human beings. You know, self-hate is a thing. And if you don't know self-hate is a thing, now you know that self-hate is a thing. Okay? I just want to put that out there. That self-hate is a thing. It is a horrible thing. It does not change the fact that it is a thing. Alright? Somewhere along the line, these people have cracked the shell off the nut. Playing a game while I'm talking. I can focus on two things at once. And for some reason, they hate themselves. They hate both natives and blacks to the point where, oh, excuse me, they come up with this fantastic fantasy, like super omega fantastic fantasy of what we had when we were black. They've done this recently. 
with rewriting the history of Europe. All Europeans was originally black. And then they started talking about dragons. They started talking about fucking telepathic powers, telekinetic powers. They talked about fucking, um, what the fuck was the other shit? They started rambling off of, of Native American names. They started going off of, um, all Mac, Tall Attack, um, everything under the sun. If it's a Native American name, they took it. All right? Just know that they took it. And I'm sitting here to myself thinking, how? What the fuck? You know, who peed in your cereal? Who literally peed in your cereal? And what in the hell are y'all on? Because whatever y'all are smoking, y'all don't need to share that shit with anybody. I mean, for the love of God, don't share that shit with anybody. But somehow or another, you know, the shit continues. It continues on and on and on. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on TikTok. I'll tell y'all about it. I was watching another one of these live guys. Another one of these lives. And they had a girl on there. And you would think because scientists have said that women are smarter than men that this broad would be educated enough to say, you know what, I should probably not agree with this motherfucker. But she's ten toes deep in the sand. Also, I don't know what ether is. I know it's that shit that's flammable, but apparently black people are ninth ether beans. I'm a mingle seed, by the way, because I've watched another live with some lady who called people like me mingle seeds. You know, because I'm mixed, so... I don't have the right to exist because I'm mixed, so I'm a fucking mingle seed. You know, insulting as that is, that's what she said. I'm a fucking mingle seed. Yay me. It, it only gets worse from here, y'all. <laughs> it really only gets worse from here. Then, um, what was it, the other thing? That, um, when I did the beans, Toltecs, All Max, Anunnaki... Ishinabe, everything in the South American hemisphere is what black people were. Okay. Did I mention we rode dragons? Did I mention we were giants? Did I mention that we um we could um fly? That's just the beginning. So we're giants, we ride dragons, we can fly. They come up with some new shit every week. These guys could write some serious stories for Sci-Fi Channel where they would never, ever have to go broke. And Sci-Fi Channel could give me a job and I could play the lead. And I can ride on one of those flying dragons and change it to a giant. And I got telepathic powers. Oh, by the way, they believe that Egypt is in America. It is in the Grand Canyon. But just the other day, they transferred it that Egypt was in Mississippi. And that the Nile River was also the Mississippi. Not once, not twice, but three times the Nile River has been the Mississippi. But... The Nile River is supposed to run parallel with Egypt or some shit like that, or at the bottom of Egypt. But the Egypt is in the Grand Canyon. There's a goddamn Stargate in the Grand Canyon. There is so much shit going on with the self hatred of these ethnocentrics that they have decided that Native Americans are not Native Americans, and that the slave trade happened in reverse, and that black people are uh, the originals. And that they are gods. And I'm sitting here watching these videos and I'm flipping my shit. I am literally flipping my shit. So back to the video I was talking about. So I put out a, a challenge on TikTok. Oh, it's got to be about a month and a half ago now. And I was in my backyard. I had just watched the live. I watched the whole thing. And this is where the guys start talking about how we had dragons and how we were gods and giants and had superpowers and all this other shit. Two things have not happened yet. It had not magically manifest a hole in the sky to show me Egypt and America. And they have not manifest a hole in the sky and popped down in my backyard.
so I can pull out this axe and show them how a Native American fights. They haven't showed up. They haven't showed up at all. Uh-oh. Okay. Technical malfunction on my end, because clearly... Ooh, that's bad. Can't edit that. Whew. A little slow there. Anyway, now that I got the fun part out the way, and all the missing that I've done with this little axe, I put out the challenge. I said, okay, you guys are gods. Why don't you show me Egypt and America? Why do you need to be on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram if you're gods? Why do you fucking need technology? Because, you know, you guys are gods. I mean... Captain Kurt said it best. Why does a guy need a spaceship? Don't ask me which Star Trek movie it was, but it is the greatest question ever. Why does a guy need a spaceship? You know? And none of them have made effort to come at me in the video. None of them have made effort to even reply to my video. And so I made a video whew, here, I think about the same night. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I made a video here. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Y'all know I don't like to tell lies. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. We can count this video as that video. But they haven't replied to my threat. Because I straight said, if you are gods, show me your power. Teleport to my backyard. And one at a time or all at once, I'm going to show y'all that even a guy can bleed. Not one reply has come to that video. And amazingly enough, TikTok has been taking the bitches down. Because I literally said, I want you guys to Thanos snap. Show up at my house, in my backyard. Because you're gods, I can't outrun you. You are a god. There's nowhere that a normal human being like me can run from a god. Right? I mean, come on. Y'all know how gods work. The only most powerful god in Marvel is the one above all. And there's no one above him. And the only bad God is the one below all. <laughs> there's no one below him. So, you know, these guys are gods. So it shouldn't be nothing for them to Thanos snap, show up at my house, and do my ass in. Um, none of them have showed up yet. I laid down the gauntlet. I literally said, here's the rules. There's only one rule. You can't use technology to come to my house. You need to know where I am. You need to snap your fingers and pop out of the backyard. You also should probably pay up your life insurance on Godimus.com because you're not going home the way you came here unless you actually are a god. Because if you are a god and you show up and you do that shit, it's going to be on. I'm going to record that shit if they actually show up. I said, oh, these guys actually are gods. They showed up without cars, guns, knives, or anything. But I didn't say I wasn't going to have a knife. I didn't have an axe. This one. And I'm going to use it. On gods. Because, as Leonidas said, Today, even a god can bleed. Oh, I forgot. I'm not just going to use that one knife. I mean that one axe. I'm going to have this little guy too. What, you think he's not a little guy? Trust me. He's little. But like I said, today, even a god can bleed. I'm going to double axe wheel. Damn it, that was supposed to look cool. But it would look cool if I was a god, because then I wouldn't have dropped it. No. But... When they show up with their magical powers, we're going to make a guy bleed. One by one, or all at once. Doesn't make a flying fuck to me. Because here's the reality of that. I have bow and arrows over there. 
and I already told them, once you teleport into my yard, first I'm going to put some arrows through you. And then I'm going to use my axes, like Nightwolf. <laughs> and I'm going to make gods bleed. A lot. But that was like almost a month and a half ago, I guess. So six weeks, whatever. About a month. Let's say, for the sake of argument, let's say at least two months ago. Ain't no giant showed up. Ain't no god showed up. And a Thanos snap. Now, all jokes aside, I am highly pissed off that this has been able to go on for as long as it has gone on. And that TikTok hasn't said or done anything about it. Like at all. They literally have not given two fucks about this shit. And I'm like, yo... Look at all the misinformation these guys are popping out. And no one's saying shit. Like, literally no one's saying shit. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you know, when I was a kid, from grade school to high school, I have done really good for myself considering how much I was bullied for being mixed, considering how much I was bullied for being short, Consider how much I was bullied for not getting any pussy, for being how for being bullied for things that didn't even fucking matter. The fact that I had comic books as my only friends, I got bullied for it. There was almost nothing that you could say I wasn't bullied for. I didn't stink, but I got bullied for stinking, even though I didn't stink. Now, and, and the worst part of the concept is that, you know, a bully is nothing but a big old bitch. You know, it just depends on how you look at it. But, you know, the the world is a um, complex uh, system of how things work. You know. And to no prevail, these guys haven't showed up. But I got bullied for everything under the sun. I mean, everything under the sun. And these guys, man, they haven't gotten whatever the hell is going on in their skulls. Whatever's going on. The self-hatred runs deep, yo. Literally, the self-hatred that these ethnocentric people have for themselves it runs exceptionally deep. I mean, it is unbelievable that these people hate themselves uh, excuse me, this damn much that they want to eliminate Native American culture and they want to eliminate black culture. And then they want to turn that shit into a sci-fi fantasy. Because apparently black people were giants. Oh yeah, I forgot. My, my favorite. They're children of the sun. Or the stars, because they're star seeds, or whatever the fuck they're calling themselves. And then it, it's um it's something else. There's some other shit that they're throwing out there. And I'm like, wow. You know, you think you can't get any more issues. And then shit like this happens, and you're like, what the fuck? I mean, these people... They are on some serious shit. I mean, they literally are like... I don't know how they don't go and get some help. I know, like, if they can't afford it, I get it. Because I had to get help. I got it through the military. But as a child, man, I got bullied. I came home too ashamed to cry because I was told if I cried, I would grow up and be gay. So I didn't cry, so... It was like, unless somebody dies, you can't cry if you're a boy. I don't view the world that way these days. But I also haven't broken myself out of the habit of not being able to cry. That might not make sense to y'all. But trust me, it would make sense if you knew the shit that I've been through. Okay? So, these motherfuckers, man. I mean, damn. I know... That I am in bad shape. 
But I am not in so much bad shape that I can't get my shit together. Yeah. And I mean, these guys, man, they are like, fuck with a capital F. Yeah, and I'm like, you guys see the issue, right? And I mean, they just, they hate themselves this fucking badly. That they are doing everything in their power to erase Native American history, black history. And it's like, they don't give a fuck. And like I said on TikTok, when I get off this app, I'm still going to be mixed. I'm going to be part Native, part Black, and part White until the day I die. And in case you want to know, I'm playing a game. A different game. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you guys have so much hatred towards Native American culture? You hate them so much, but you want to be them. And you keep doing the same dumbass shit. And I mean, you like, you know y'all wrong. You know you're lying about this shit. But yet, you're still fucking doing it. I mean, you're feeding this beast. And it's like, you're not even trying to not feed the beast. You know, you're just like doing some exceptionally dumbass shit. And it's one of those things where, you know, you're like, how? How do you go to sleep at night? How do you live with yourself doing this shit? I mean, what is so wrong with you that you just refuse? I mean, you all out fucking refuse to fucking, you know, maybe I ought to take a back beat. Maybe I ought to stop doing this shit. Nah, they just continue on and on and on and on. And it's like, I know they they see themselves doing this shit. But at that same time, they just refuse to fucking... They just all out fucking refuse. I mean, it's, it's a damn shame that they do this shit. Because they, they control the power of their own life. I get it. But at that same time, they're just not... They're not cooperating in life. I mean, I thought I sucked ass in life. And I've had some issues as a child. I've had some issues as an adult. But I have not hated myself to the point where I want to go into another culture and completely erase it. This same group of people are saying that the original Chinese are also black. That everything in the world was black. Everybody was black. Everybody was black. And like, but what the fuck happened? If everybody is black, what the fuck happened? How do we have different racial people? What the fuck happened? You know... And I'm like, <laughs> there are things that are happening on TikTok that are fucking completely unacceptable. And I mean, I'm like, when you when you watch these things, you have to ask yourself, what fucking drug did this guy ingest to just fucking all out be like, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to destroy Native American culture. That's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to get rid of all the Native Americans. I'm going to make sure that they know that the slave trade happened in reverse, and that it didn't really happen, you know. And of course, you know, if you know anything about um, numbers and math, or mathematics, and I know you guys are better at math than my dumb ass, but um, for the slave trade to have worked in reverse, almost every person who is black in America would have had to be taken to Africa for that shit to have worked. Every person on this soil would have had to been taken by force off of this plan of existence. And then they say that that's what happened. And then they say this is how they wiped out all the black people and claiming that we from Africa. It gets better, y'all. It gets better. Because then they're like, I swear they just said that they was giants and shit. You know? So y'all gonna have to explain to me. And this is the part that makes me laugh. And you guys are probably gonna laugh too. 
you going to tell me you got fire breathing dragons you a motherfucking giant and you got your asses handed to you by ordinary people with fucking um gunpowder mind you gunpowder now which they stole from China because Marco Polo was a thief and they stole this gunpowder from China and they conquered giants gods dinosaurs dragons people with telekinetic powers people with telepathic powers People who were stronger than Jesus. I threw that one in there for fun. But, you know, if you got telepathic powers or telekinetic powers, dude, no one should be able to whoop your ass. Because you could just think about beating their ass. And the shit would fucking happen just due to the fact that you have telekinetic fucking powers. Do you not know what telekinetics is? That is the ability to use the force. That's basically what the force is. I can, I can move this paper towel. It's really a roll of paper towels. I can move that over here. Watch me catch it. Mm, I'm going to pop a blood vessel. Yeah. But that's what they said. Now, here's the thing. You had all these powers. And these dragons and these dinosaurs. And they breathe fire. Fire. Did y'all not see what them dragons did in Game of Thrones? I mean, they breathe fucking fire. They're dragons. They fucking breathe fire. How on God's green earth do you lose to normal people who have spears and knives, stone-tipped knives at that? How do you lose when you have giants and dragons and fire breathing monsters at your command because you telepathically tell them what the fuck to do. Now somebody on this app, on YouTube, on TikTok, whichever app you find me on, you gotta make that shit make some sense. Because you know, you dealing with motherfuckers this guy fire breathing dragons, telepathic powers, telekinetic powers. Did I mention they got fire breathing dragons? You know, because these motherfuckers got all this magical shit. And yet, I state this posthumously and with respect, and yet, they lost to people who have spears. Okay? Motherfucking spears. And you tell me how the fuck a spear gonna bring down a dragon. You know, dragons. They fly through the air to shoot fire. You know, how is a spear really gonna hurt a giant? You know, like those TikToks where... They had that midget, and he's throwing a javelin, but it's actually a toothpick. You know, I know y'all seen it. Don't make me look stupid on YouTube, but I know y'all seen it. So tell me how in the hell, how in the actual hell, are you going to lose to people? Who have conventional fucking weapons. When you got fucking dragons. I mean you got fucking dragons. If you get your ass kicked. And you got dragons. Dragons. Actual fucking dragons. And you're fucking giants. You're actually fucking giants. With telekinetic powers. Telepathic powers. You probably can ride a fucking unicorn. How do you lose... All of America, South America, Central America, how do we wind up in chains? It, it, it's, it's not adding up. 
This is not girl math. This is not boy math. This is just straight math. Why would we give up all this magical, fantastical shit? Why would our ancestors not be immortal and be able to save that? So not only did you guys lose, you made it with my ancestors, my white and native ancestors, and we lost all the power. We shrunk down from being 20 feet tall. We stopped riding dragons. We stopped having telepathic powers. Did y'all not see Planet of the Apes? I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This is what proves Darwin's theory wrong about people coming from ape. Because chimpanzees and them actually are the ones that rule Planet of the Apes. The gorillas is just a muscle. But the chimpanzees and the orangutans actually roll Planet of the Apes. Um, they haven't started talking to us. They got hand signals and they like to throw shit at people. But they haven't started talking to us. How do you lose with all those advantages? I mean, all of those advantages. Also, you're thinking that the Earth is flat and there's a Stargate and that Egypt is in America. How... Do you fucking lose to one, people who use bows, arrows, and spears, tomahawks, which is basically a rock and a stick. <laughs> the, 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 the arrowheads are basically rocks formed into arrows and taped with buffalo hide and on a stick and you shoot it, you know, um, and y'all lost. And then you lost again. You lost again because Europeans came over in boats and all they had was cannons. You know, boom, cannons off the boat. Y'all do remember me telling that they were giants and they had dragons. So you lost to somebody this big or you were way up here and they were this big. And you had these giant ass dragons. Boy, y'all really couldn't fight worth a fuck. And then we shrunk down and got put in chains. Now, where in the astronomical fucking fuck place of sense does that make sense? I'm Echo Fang Grey Wolf. I want y'all to think about everything that I just said. And if you are part of the indigenous and black erasure, you suck as a human being. You literally suck as a human being, and I will be damned if I'm going to let you erase my grandmothers that were black, my grandmothers that are native, my grandfathers that are black. I don't know if I had any grandfathers that are native, but if they are there, them too. My grandfathers who are white, my grandmothers who are white. Hey, I'm mixed. I'm going to be mixed when I end this video. I'm going to be mixed for another 50 years if the good Lord lets me live long enough to see it. But what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do indigenous erasure. I'm not going to do black erasure. I'm not going to do European erasure. Yes, white people do have culture. Just depends. White American culture, it's, it's wrapped in racism. I'm sorry. It is. It's wrapped in racism. But white people who are not racist and who stick with their culture, like you're Irish, but you're also white, and you do Irish traditions like St. Patrick's Day and all that shit, that's your culture. If you are Irish and you are Scandinavian and you do Viking shit, that's your fucking culture. And if you're European and you do warrior shit, that's your fucking culture. So white people do have culture. It's just that American white people forget who the fuck they are. All right? Please don't take that wrong if you're white. But if you're white, you do have culture. No matter what anybody my skin tone or any other skin tone tells you, white people do have culture. Just like anybody who says black people can't be racist because they are talking about systemic racism instead of actual racism. The definition of racism has been changed to make people feel good, but here's the actual definition of racism and bigotry. I don't like you because of the color of your skin. I don't give a fuck if you're a nice person. I don't give a fuck if you go to church every day and you love Jesus. But if you don't look like me and I hate you, that makes me a racist. If I am a white dude and I won't let you date my daughter because you are a black dude, 
I'm a racist. I don't care if you're a nice guy, but I won't let you date my daughter and go balls deep into her because you're black means I'm a racist. If I am a black dude and I won't let you take your white dick and stick it in my daughter and go balls deep, I'm a racist. If I am a white or a black dude and I won't let my daughter date an Asian man, a black man, or a freaking Native American man, I'm being a racist. Understand, I'm hating you because of the color of your skin. Not because you might be a dick, but just because you don't have the same skin tone as me. You don't want a lot of other people who are like me in real life existing. That means you're a racist. Everybody on earth can be a racist. Black people can be racist. White people can be racist. Natives can be racist. Asians can be racist. Now, let me explain that before I end this video. I have been the victim of racism from damn near all of the people that I named. Two incidences with Native Americans on the same day because I wanted to date their niece. All right? You're not a pure Native American. We don't want you fucking with our niece. Okay, and can you get up? Nope, I cannot. Well, you can roll into that oak tree by mysterious forces called my hands. Then the big brother rolls over and says the same bullshit. And I say, well, you know, you can be rolled into oncoming traffic since there is no honor in me beating up a man who can't stand up and fight back. There's also no honor in rolling one of them into an oak tree and there's no honor in rolling one into a fucking oncoming traffic. But the shit would have been funny as fuck. I'd be just getting out of prison now, but, you know, a lot of my races, unfortunately, and I say this with my full chest, and I'm sorry if you are black and this offends you, I do apologize, but if the glove doesn't fit, then they have to acquit, and if the shoe don't, don't find, let it fly, whatever. If the shoe isn't for you, let it bamboose, y'all know what I mean. But most of my life, trying to prove my blackness to black people has been an issue, and the second part of that is I've had some racist white people. Oh, uh, we don't like half-breeds. We don't like half-breeds. I've had one racist Asian incident, and it was probably more my fault than his fault. So, you know, it happens. We got to arguing, and he had said something smart, and the only thing I had was rice cakes. And I said, well, why don't you go back and eat some rice cakes? And it's like, fuck you. I'm not Chinese. I'm from Vietnam. We don't eat no motherfucking rice cakes. Hi, Zhang. I love you, brother. And we became the only two kids that were friends. He's the only friend I had in Berlin Moran because it was a race war. He didn't have to worry about it. I had to worry about it because black people were calling me zebra and half H. And white people were calling me zebra and half N. So yeah. And then when the fifth grade came and they found out I was part native, oh, it only got worse from there. So when I tell you that everybody on the planet can be racist, there's no lie in there. If you hate someone purely on the color of their skin, you are a racist. It's got nothing to do with your ability to oppress somebody that keeps you from being racist. That is systemic racism. Understand the damn difference. Systemic racism. I don't hire you because I only want to hire black people, but you're a white person who's overly qualified. Bet y'all never thought you'd hear something like that from me, right? Of course you didn't. But that would make me a racist because I refuse to hire a white person where I would hire an underqualified black person. Why? Because let's say I'm a black supremacist and I'm only going to hire this black guy versus this very nice overqualified white woman. All right? And then the shoes are reversed in corporate world. Sometimes they only hire these overqualified black people for low-end positions and underqualified white people for high-end positions. And then it works the same way in the Asian diaspora. Nine times out of ten, if they're going to hire a Gaijin or a Guaylo, they're going to hire them and give them the low part of the totem pole unless unless they have something that can bring very good money in and that goes for all companies regardless of if the top of the chain is Asian if the top of the chain is white if the top of the chain is black if you are not hiring people because of the color of their skin regardless of if they're qualified or not you're a fucking racist and that's where it becomes systemic also because I can hire an overqualified black man and give him a job as a janitor even though he has 20 degrees in technology. And I'll send one of my white employees, hey, go, go talk to that, that black dude down there, that's the janitor with the tech, you know. I know he has the knowledge to fix it, but I hired him for being a janitor versus hiring him for what I should have hired him for. 
That's systemic racism. It's also racism because I hired him as a janitor and he's black versus knowing that I read his resume, knowing that he has 10 degrees in technology, but yet I still hired him as a fucking janitor. And that will be done by other people because it's been done to white people, it's been done to Asian people, it's been done to Native people. How you think people who have degrees and all kinds of shit don't get these jobs and they wind up doing the same shit I'm doing, cleaning for a living or working at McDonald's, paying off the student debt. Because motherfuckers look at us and say, oh, well, you're intelligent, but you're not intelligent enough to the point where I'm willing to give you the job. Yet they'll hire their friends who's dumb as a box of fucking rocks and give them the high paying job because they made it to management. So now they can hire whoever the fuck they want. It's a form of racism, but that would be systemic racism versus I walk down the street and spit in a white man's face because he's white. That would make me a racist motherfucker. It would also make me a prejudiced motherfucker. And if a white man did it to me, it would make him a racist motherfucker. If a native man did it to me, it would make him a racist motherfucker. If a Asian man did it to me, it would make him a racist motherfucker because they would hate me because I'm mixed. Alright? You understand how racism works now in this 40 some odd minute video? And here's the, here's the kicker of all kickers. And I will say this with my whole chest. If you hate anybody for the color of their skin or their gender... You are a racist and a sexist. So that's your double whammy right there. I'm not going to hire her because she's a female. Female might be the smartest motherfucker in the building, but you don't want to hire her because she's a female. Now, there is a catch-22 with that because that person might not want to hire her due to the fact that he might be scared that he might say the wrong shit and get a problem with sexual harassment. So there's the catch-22 because sexual harassment does happen and sometimes it doesn't happen the way you think it happens. So... You have to be careful. If their resume is great, you know, and you got a corner office and that motherfucker earned that corner office because they spent all that time in school, give them the corner office. And in fact, here's how you take care of that problem. Just have cubicles. Even you, as the boss. Everybody has a cubicle. Knock all the offices down. We have cubicles. We don't have an office. That way, everybody is treated exactly the same. And in fact, everybody's back to back to back with the cubicles. They're all facing the windows and the cubicles all backs to each other. They're not where they can see each other. They're all facing windows. The center of the room is where the water fountain is so that everybody has to back out and come to the meeting area in the center of the room. And that will solve all the problems of, well, I didn't get that corner office. Nobody got a corner office. There's all these goddamn cubicles. Pick one. Thank you for watching. I'm not going to offend you. And if I have offended anybody with this video, I do apologize. And hopefully I've offended enough of the people who believe that the earth is flat. And that um, Egypt is in America. And that people who are black were the original Native Americans. If I've offended you guys, here's two more for you. And also those giants, dragons, dinosaurs fire-breathing motherfuckers, and whatever else you claim that, that you are. That being said, I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. This is for the pretendians. Be seeing you. Stop erasing my motherfucking cultures.